everybody. Welcome into the studio. I'm Andy. Today we are going to talk about how to program a button on this Nectard Pacer foot controller. Uh, it is probably the most confusing device that's ever been made on the planet like in terms of how to program these buttons, but it can be done once you understand what you're trying to do and what you're looking for. You can do it without fail every time, even when you've taken a little break. I've done this a couple of times now over two years and uh, in less than five minutes, we're going to be out of here. We're going to know just how to do what we want to do with these buttons, right? So let's talk about this device. Um, no, that's Paco. Little Paco in the chair back there. The uh, the device itself is like any other kind of MIDI controller thing. It has uh, It's a MIDI controller, and it works on banks of presets. So when you use these two buttons up and down, you will go through the banks of presets. The bank name is the top row of the display. The bank slot is the bottom. The top row you can mess with. The slot in the bottom you cannot. This is the A slot. A, one, two, three, four, five, six, B, and on we go. Um, so I have a bunch of slots called loop with a number, and then... Harp one, that's me. So my main controller is this. So the six buttons on the bottom, that's where all the action happens. Don't worry about these other three up here. Everything we're doing is in the preset one. That's all that really matters. So these six buttons down there, where it's going on. We want to make this button over here send a note. We are working in Ableton, which means we're trying to trigger these cells. And the cells in the session view, uh, you can see, are all mapped to these buttons, which have notes. The easiest way to do that for me with Ableton is to make this, this button send a MIDI note to Ableton. So I'm going to program this button to send a MIDI note. How do we program this button? First thing we do is step on it. Quick aside, good to know. Uh, right up in the display, when you press on any of these buttons, it tells you what that button's doing. This one's doing a control change. And, uh, oh, as I press it, it does 127. As I let go, it does zero. So that means it's sending control change on one, number 120 and with data values of uh, up or down 127 and up zero. And so, whereas this button is just a MIDI note. It's just note 119. This one's note 118, right? That's all they are. Um, so we're going to change this one to a note. So we press it, get it active. Then we're going to, uh, whoops, I need to use my foot so I can keep my head near the mic. Uh, I'm going to spin this with my toe once to the right and then once to the left. I know it sounds really silly, but that's the, that's the most reliable way every way. Uh, you don't get this control S dash your switch number, which is six. And that's not a five. That's an S, S dash six. Uh, you don't get to see that, which is what you want, until you spin left, and, and it seems like until you spin right, too. That's why this thing is infuri infuriating for people. But just know that the first thing that you want to do is find control, your switch, and the number you're looking for. So control, switch six. Yep, that's what we want. Press. Now we're in switch six. With a W, it makes more sense. Um, and so... Uh, we start scrolling. We want to change first. Scroll to the right twice. We got type, press, CC trigger. That's not what we want. CC step, no. Uh, note, I don't know if that's what that means, but note. Uh, we do want that. We want that. Uh, now it's gone back. Now it's going to let us put, what is the note? 120. Sounds fine. I will hit enter. Uh, it took us back to the main menu or to that menu. I'm scrolling to the right till I find back. Scrolling to the right until I find save, and then I'm going to give three presses and try not to spin the wheel. There we go. It's now saved. Sorry, that note has commands triggered to it. So uh, we got plenty of time under five minutes. Watch. Let's send this thing right on back to the way it was. So how are we going to reprogram this button? Again, uh, we select the button so it's active. Uh, then we go to the wheel, turn once to the right, once to the left. Oh, there we go. Control, switch five. We're not. We're on the wrong button. So let's this one. turn that play thing off. Now uh, we're on the right thing. Wheel first. One to the right. Whoops. Look at that. It went straight to the thing. So I don't know why I did that. I expected it to have to go to the left, but we know what we're looking for. It's control S switch six. Switch six. So yes, please give me it. Now. I scrolled once. I might have scrolled with my foot accidentally. It's hard to press this thing and not scroll with your foot. So we want to change the type to not note, but CC trigger. Uh, we click to select. It puts us back in the menu. We want to do uh, what the down and ups are. So down. When we press it, it's 127. That's correct. Press again. Now scroll right up. Zero. That's correct. Uh, put us back. Let's go all the way to the right for back. One to the right for save. Two more. 
and there we're done. So this was now 127.0. Yep, that does just what it was supposed to do. So we've reprogrammed that too. We just crossed the five minute line. Look at that. Five minutes, we are programming these buttons. So no matter what you are trying to send from this pacer to something, um, that something is going to want a program change to so like change a patch on something maybe or a control change you know like we're doing here um, my control change pedal that I just set is for a vocal channel and uh, or a vocal mic that's live right and so notice when I press and hold delay and chorus come on you probably hear that through your thing right blah boom 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 um, super nice so um, that's why you might use, you know, some of these things. Whatever you're trying to send in terms of a MIDI command to a DAW or a device or whatever you have, this foot controller will send it. And that's how you program the pedals, uh, the buttons on it, to send exactly what you want. Anything you want to send, you can send it. Uh, it's super tricky, of course, <laughs> to program this thing. But now you have a reference. Just always come back to this video, and just like that, you'll reprogram those buttons just how you need to. Cheers. Hope it works for you. Have a great day.